my work has been largely involved with emerging diseases. And if I look back on my professional career, which started way back in the late 60s, uh, we've always recognized that when it comes to the control of emerging diseases, and in this context, one's often talking about those diseases that spread rapidly, then you really need society to work with you. And it was recognized that the most effective way of preventing these disasters from happening was that the global community would work together. And in that context, you have the World Health Organization, you have the Food and Agricultural Organization, both of the United Nations, and then the national government saying, we really need to take this seriously. Somehow or other, we needed to come out of our respective silos and recognize that we don't always understand what you're doing, but we do appreciate that perhaps you can help us. So this is where, uh, viewed from the perspective of being a veterinarian, I'm, I'm not a social scientist, I don't consider myself one, uh, we need to recognize that other people know far better how to in fact interact with the community and change practice. So simply having the knowledge of how you break a cycle in terms of the hard science doesn't necessarily translate effectively into disease control programs when you're looking at them in the field.